There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. exists very much Absolutely. i did not know that hey everyone what's up welcome to the last stream on the live uh, on the left wow marcus isn't here yeah so now kissel and i i'm have the rain ultra which is a responsible beverage for people who only want to have 95 calories but also have the taste of beer it's best if you love urine so we are here we're live with you. Marcus is under the weather, so it's just us. But the thing is... And you can't spell justice without just us. Uh, well, there's... Just there's, us. There's not two U's in justice. justice. There's not two U's in justice. But that's fine. Because, again, it's here. We're live. We're with the chat. But I know Robbie wishes that Marcus would mandate him. He would. Don't worry about that. Marcus will mandate but you anytime he wants. Back in college, Marcus used to mandate a bunch of dudes. But, of course, stop being gay as soon as it could have helped us career-wise. Honestly, uh, all he needs to do. I mean, we've talked about We've it. put up so much. right? Yeah, I know. He works so hard. He, he should writes have my, the we scripts. Should, and we he should, does all of this shit. We but should switch comes, hair. Because then he's got the little body. Oh, yeah. And if he has my hair, they'll be like, hey, lady. And then he turns around. They're like, oh, never mind. You're a man. But then Marcus, because Already he cares about us, says, no, I'm a lady. I'm a lady. Honestly, it's really nice. Just remember, yes, like Marcus really, we put up a lot with him, too. So he could at least suck one dick. One dick. Just to turn this fucking boat around. Turn it around. Also, Speaking of Marcus, uh, today's episode, it's still his mandate. Oh, yes. Oh, we yes. We had that predetermined, and Henry and I didn't. We don't have any videos. Uh, yeah, so, so this it's, is. Uh, we're watching Mark. It's you and I, Henry, watching the mind of Marcus, but Marcus not being here. I'm actually very. I'm intrigued for well, our experience that we're about to have. He started trying to show me when he was just like, oh, I have these things. I could look at these things. And I was just like, please stop. Because I just can't. No, you can't. Because I don't want to know. Number no. one, I don't want to know yet. No. Because I want to. But uh, even just the titles I saw of the videos, yeah. I'm just like, no. I guess this is. I guess this will be entertainment for you. My videos are like hot chick burps after drinking too much soda, and his video names are just a bunch of a second, letters a and numbers that don't make any sense together. So according to Sleazy Dan, Henry's speaking fee is it the same as noted on AAAE speakers? AAE speakers. A -A -A I don't know what that is. Speakers. Well, whatever. Is that, can it you is, look we up not, that fee? Can we, we are look not. That uh, we are not. A, we are not with AAA speakers. Um, so I'm with AAA for my car, but I will say oh, when I. A -E speak wait let me on. see okay. how much i want to see Type our air cool, cool. if you're, if you're in it and i'm not Thank we're you, actually this is the internet continually tries to tear us apart yeah. and remember when you used to go pur leo brought it up do you remember when you used to purposely go get cruise just for the attention still do still do purposely it's just here we okay go. here we are all right here okay we go. hold Henry's on hold on all right, this is great wow i want to see if i already see how also, much i am all right that look at this fucking look at this. picture is when you played stew you don't There's look no way. like it. No, 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 no. I am just as Live young event fee, $30,000 to $50,000. Yep. Why aren't you doing that? Yes. Why aren't you doing that? Yes, that is Can true. Can you please search my name, Eric? If I'm not in this fucking thing, I'm going to be so fucking pissed off. This, yes, please. No, I, this that is, is true. This is how, this is how things break, yep. and this is why. Yep. Not even on there. <laughs> Who the fuck is Rebecca Bender? Who the fuck is Ben Crenshaw, former professional PGA golf Benjamin Kissel? Not even good enough. Not even notable enough. Not Bill, even fucking Bill notable, Benjamin. Man. Benjamin Sledge. It's a great name. Benjamin Crump. I do like. Who are these guys? Who the fuck is this? I mean, he's, oh, he's, got, a he's getting ten grand. Always oh, served in the war. I mean, yeah. I mean, it depends on which war. He's a that's viral what writer. About. What is a viral writer? He only talks about COVID or something. What's he even oh, talking about? That's a funny pun. Fuck you, well, AAE speakers. Yeah, and no, I'm not going to do works. shit with you. The audience is loving it. They they get it. They yeah, know. Yeah, because I, know, I you probably did something where you sign because you do all that secret shit where you sign up for shit. What do you mean? You you got a TikTok account, what? unbeknownst to me. You like <laughs> that's you not do secret shit. Yeah, it is, and you do secret Hollywood stuff that you know I don't do. Yeah, I'm of not course. A soulless I'm keeping us schmuck. alive. Because I have to you, go there. You did that. You registered I have yourself. to brave I these pedophiles. I guarantee you that you I have to go out into the sea the of pedophiles. Please. And I have to reason with them. I have, I have to reason. I have to mix amongst them. You can't reason with a pedophile. Them. It's by nature an unreasonable yeah. position. But I just, I know for a fact that you signed yourself up for that website just for this moment. I don't know. I'm pissed off. Oh, hey, man, like, see, Sleazy Dan. Off. So all it's going to cost is an easy 
50 G's for me to come and speak at you and your family. Am I not worth it? No, you're not worth 50 grand. Just you to go yell at a family? 50 grand? I mean, it's better than you doing it. And when it comes down to it, <laughs> the father gets tired. I'm not even on it. So AAE, suck my ASS because you, my friend, don't even know speaking talent. He's a sketch comedian. He's genuinely He shook. does sketch. He's I do talky talk. He's I genuinely talk. Upset. He does this character. I'm Henry Zabrowski. This is Here's the mask. I am the talker. This is going to carry over. This no, is going to carry over in our life. We've all between this and the men's fucking. Um, no, these are flutes. Article. I can't. I can't pan. The flutes aren't for him, Katie. No, they're not. I don't know The flutes are for me. Because there was a men's health article that didn't mention Marcus's name, which really should be mentioned. I mean, and my name, I'm like, okay, don't mention it, whatever. Well, you're the author of our book. First, first and foremost, but they said that you were made in the lab, and I know it was. I'm, oh God! Oh God! Hollywood, sleazy Dan, though you could be my manager. Tear apart. Hollywood Sle- is tearing us apart. I, but I will say before we do it, sleazy Dan, just get in, get in touch with my people, Big Boy at FatFuck.com. <laughs> Love my A-E-E-E. you're gonna you're gonna love it. Email our, man, our manager, Sleazy Dan. You get to be my sp- you are my speaking manager, and I need you to sell me to other members of the chat. Just tell me where I'm going. All right, I want half up top. I but need bef- a break from this. God damn it! Let's throw. Can we just watch Marcus save us from afar? I don't know if we will. I don't know. If I don't think it's no. I think it's gonna be the only thing I know about this one is. All right, yes, honestly, Kenneth Shaw, I'll take the 350. Now, all right, let's take this out. Let's let's watch this first video. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? The infantry, please. Insert Marcus making fun of Henry and stuff. Hut, two, three. Wow. Hut, two, okay. Three, all right, four, that's power. amazing. All right, this power. is really good. Power. Don't cut out now, camera. <laughs> Holy shit. He must have a good Whoa. muscle base underneath there and then a fat on top to really Hello, get the chicken. I Oh, he's saying De Gaulle to his penis. I'd like to see it evaluate this. I hope this isn't in front of kids. This is old All school. Right, Tarzan of the Apes. Well, okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, no, I didn't know what on. he was going to do. I want Pagali music. Pagali. I can't believe he's not wearing suspenders. How are those pants staying up? Those are suspenders. Does he have suspenders on? Yeah, they're going over his... Uh, yeah, you can see him hanging up by the pasties. I don't think Maybe he they're does. they're glued to him? I don't... I just think Shakespeare, you can't be classy with you bastards. <laughs> Sounds like your mom. Okay, <laughs> did it. Shake him again! No, I want to see what he does. Yeah, shake him! This is... Simply the best comedian I've ever seen. I mean, it's fantastic. He's got the comedian's oh, hat. He's got. Ass. He's crushing. I just. You know, like class. He's crushing it. How does he do it? Okay, Planet of the Apes. This. I think there's some cultural stuff in his account. This is literally World War okay, II sketch comedy. Squeezing. You're correct, academic. I think he's saying some. Problematic things, but you no, know, we all no, not, not all comedy. We were fighting well. a war. Me, Jane. Look at him squeezing those things. This used to be the you world's fattest me, man. Jane. No way. Oh, he's squeezing a nut. He's squeezing a penis. You cheetah. Oh. He's crushing. He's absolutely destroying. My God, you're Jewish. Oh my <laughs> God, there he <laughs> is. Boom! Thank God, foreskin. Oh wait, or nor foreskin. Them Italians, Lou, Joe, hey, wear it off, right? He's jerking off everybody. Yeah, he's, uh, this is funny bits. So he's making racial stereotypes about the penises that he's jerking off in a circle jerk when he, he has pasties on. His oh my ass God, he's got my out. pasties. He shakes his ass. Yeah. Don't even. Why? I'm so... This is making America great again. This is the America that everybody wants. This is what Governor Abbott wants. I mean, I feel Let's like... Let's make it great. Let's bring it back. Vaudevillian, nipple tassels. Wow! Batman, nice hat. Good. I just... I mean, that was Don Rickles. Don Rickles stole everything he got from that guy. I'm actually extremely upset that Marcus is not here. I'm happy. Because I'm happy I, that Marcus actually smiled. I want to find out. Do you I'm... know you could see Marcus watching that? <laughs> 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 and so isn't that nice we know he smiled this week I just wish I could do the thing where I make my titties bounce where you had to have some kind of base level you had to like work I out do a have like I did he doesn't no, but work you never, out like, but you, no he probably these guys these guys yeah he was a farmer 
He was something. I don't know. Where it's like you know, you got to get the base because, but well, obviously the the fat goes on top. But you know, the little base on the bottom. Wow, and... I just love the butt tassel. Someone actually. Well, that it because, butt tassel thing was next I, level. I've been needing somebody to send me some tassels, but I was looking at them just like nipple it'd be, tassels. Or... It'd be fun to do because it, for a while I was trying to do because once we like you know we do various more we do more Twitch streams. Yeah. I'm gonna need to have something that like put, goes between my nipples and the audience. Well, because I don't. Are you gonna have to show nipples? Me. I believe you, that they sometimes let men's nipples fly. If they don't let really. women's nipples fly, then we're covering them all up then. Wow, I just Why would they do it. that on Twitch? Doesn't Twitch know how much more money they could be making? Well, it's because they, for some reason, they're deciding that men's nipples are the like equivalent to women's I'm, you nipples. You can behead like but a you could chicken suck. on there, right? And they'll be what? like, guys, on Twitch, like you can like kill a family of five and they'll be like, that's Not fine. Twitch. They're too strict on, over that. On YouTube, you could show videos of monkeys getting tortured to death, but you can't show Show them. a nipple. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes yeah, all the that sense. That makes the all world. the sense to the world. This is sure. advertising. Man, that was a great golden era. You guys you are all I... saying that you can make your own pasties. What is this? What am I? Betty Crocker? Oh, you can make your own pasties. Yeah. All you got to get is a paper plate, some uh, maybe some Elmer's glue. You want to put the little tassels on that, and then you're going to take super glue. Well, you want to shave your nipple, well, then the super glue it, that... and then slap that on there. And that, no, that My won't nipples go are just for a so while. fucking hairy. Well, you would have to shave the nipple, and actually, you'd probably want to pluck. You would, you would need to pluck your nipples because, ooh, that could be bloody. I you know, know how much a nipple bleeds. I'm just gonna show my tits. I mean, what are you? What are we even doing here? You know, because in the end, that's the worst part of burlesque is the tassels. Burlesque, because that's the part where all I know that that's the idea. That's what makes I it know. art, and not just but the not one just thing. Titties. But the the one thing burlesque giveth. Yes, it does take it the nipple, and obviously, I'm here for the boobies. But it does give you big luscious booties. And Yo, so that's sure, one yeah, nice I like thing. that. So they, yeah, get of you, they get you with the big butts, but yes, I, I, and I do like to see them, you know, turn around. And yeah, I like, I like around. them. I like when they do it but, funny, and I like all the characters. But then let's, at play. some point, let's get that. Let's just get it all off. Of them. Come on now. Well, come on, what are we doing? It's one of the biggest scams that's ever happened with, uh, what was Victoria's Secret? Yeah, what? Lingerie. Men, the only lingerie I like is when it's uh, when it's uh, fairly priced just and them hang. Uh, crumpled up. I'm just gonna let this go near my bed, uh, but uh, the emphasis is fairly priced. I just love that Marcus is in here. It's great. And Look it's at just, me. It's I'm going so up. good. It's just dude. I've had 83 calories. Yeah, in this 95 calorie. Michelob Ultra, and you think I, you think I've gotten any smaller? Look at that! No, whoa! But yes, please. Uh, I don't yes, know who I got smaller. But. Everyone is. I'm seeing a lot of people support me. Um, on this next video, you're just riding high off of that fucking dog shit website. <laughs> I just fucking, I'm in demand. No, people you're not. Want no, to hear has what anyone, I think? Has they anyone emailed me, you from it? You know how many times? Has I, anyone emailed you from that? You know website? how many times I, yeah. uh, someone, even just like a derelict on the street, comes up to me and says, "Tell me, wise man, what do you think of the issues of the day?" And I say, "Here's a quarter. Get a fucking job." What would you right? talk about? And he goes, 50, "Thank 000. you, thank you for your wisdom." Fifty thousand dollars. What would you talk about? Um. Okay. If I was for fifty thousand dollars, first 50. of all, up top, what we're doing is, wh where are you from? You do crowd work. Where are you do from? Because that's, from... that's all these guys like now. Yeah. Everybody just likes your, your crowd work. That's all you like. I'm from there. Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, Raleigh, North Carolina. You must be fucking stupid. <laughs> then you that's move to the next right one. There. Then you go somebody else. Like, oh, you're some my accountant. Oh, Mr. Nerd. Mr. Nerd. Well, you have to ask what people like. Hey, are, are you, you an Jewish? accountant? What is no, the goal you, is loaded with racial. a bunch of jokes about jobs. Go right? racial. Well, sometimes you go yeah. racial, but it depends on the crowd. Yeah. But it's like it depends on how everybody's feeling that night, right. especially in colleges. Sometimes like, people get a little, they get mad, right? Oh, so when you get in there, yeah. what you got to do is you just, again, you know, I have five jobs for a doctor. Oh, you're a doctor. What do you examine my balls? That's right? Like, good. oh, you're some kind of accountant. Oh, let me call yeah. the nerd police. They're going to come arrest you. I am an EMT. You, I take care of people after they've had traumatic uh, brain injuries. Uh, well, you, you dumb. Whatever, bro. Fifty thousand fucking dollars. I just then I a get a to. I'm starting to think that website needs to be Ben Kissel boycotted. Yeah, you, you can. I hope that you because guess what? Guess what? The more you fucking boycott me, the <laughs> I'm not more, boycotting. If you no. boycott me, you know I only become stronger because that means I'm hitting. I'm hitting the right. I'm not right boycotting court. you. I'm boycotting the the website that had the audacity to say that you were worth thirty to fifty thousand dollars without without. Or uh, you can protest my shows. I slide you an easy ten k. Because then everybody thinks that, oh, this must be ooh, controversial. super controversial. And then yeah. it has like, you know, because that's what I got to put caution tape up on yeah. the stage. Because that's also a part of it is putting up the caution tape and cutting through it. At yeah, the absolutely. Top. You could hang out at campuses and, and say something really douchey and then say, change my mind. <laughs> change my, change mind. my mind. All right, let's okay. watch this video. This is another Marcus uh, choice, obviously. It's his mandate. 
Ooh, that looks like a good burrito. Oh, it's a burger. Holy I've actually seen this before. Get the fuck out of here. I've seen this guy before with the umbrella, and it's honestly really nice. But you know, to be honest with you, if it was... Wow, that's cool. If it was a taco, it's... it's it, The burger is supposed to do that. Well, we got the separation. It's not right this to is... waste your food. Also, that is definitely a McDonnelly. That's, a, that's an 89 center right there. I yeah uh, well I yeah look at this I like it when see, the I like it when the raptor when the raptor this is, is still actually on a it. lot of skill um I'd love to is see it? him to do it with a full grown woman he's just, how would that work he's just spinning the umbrella and the burger is doing all the work well he's spinning also the these umbrella. burgers don't die it's like rubber it's actually it's the same thing as a hockey puck it actually shows you how deeply unappetizing they are and the fact that they stood together for yes. so long while they're being deeply rolled also that man owns his own house. I, I mean, uh, that's what that paid doing for. that in the back. And the way that he was so focused. Honestly, wow. I'd much rather for him, him do that than, like, you know, one of Nat's family members who went full Q during quarantine. You know what I mean? It's much Questioning? nicer. Questioning? I know, but it's nice for somebody to get into a wholesome, even if it is just rolling hamburgers on um, umbrellas. And that if you true. did ex describe that to somebody, they think that I mean, you're a living chat GPT. To be like, fair. Uh, human. It does seem like the entertainment at Epstein Island. Oh, sure, sure, Like sure, that sure, guy, because sure, he's sure. so focused, and you know he hears and he sees, but he's not. He's Bigfoot. concerned about making the burger spin on the umbrella. Bigfoot brought up that that should be a good team up with the trampoline lady from last week. Oh, yes. If he and trampoline yes. lady. Mm -hmm. What was mm -hmm. it? It was a erotic accident woman. Yes, and, and of course, there's nothing more fantastic than a good old erotic accident. And that's how most of us were born. Oh, I mean, I yeah. can't believe my father managed to charm my mother down to well, the Well, I think he got your mom drunk twice. Well, she pretended Henry. She pretended know. to be a ball woman. Because now that's what she says. I know says the anything. manipulation of the Zabrowskis. It's the same manipulation that keeps you up at night signing up for websites like AAE, knowing at some point it's going to come and make me angry. All you know is that I, again, each one of my words, because my goal is, too, is that when I go up there, Maybe I could do it where I only say 50 words. 50, so so each $1,000 word a word. is $1,000. Oh, God. Right, and go, hello, well, I'm Henry Zabrow. Well, that's one word. It is. Oh, so that's four uh, words four up top. Words. And then so I just. 46 more words. And then I go. God. You know, and then what, wait for is, them. And then you guys all start talking. Can you about search Ben Kissel speaking fee just in general? But then the best part is, is that if I'm not talking so much, you guys then have an opportunity to all meet each other and fuck from the audience. No, that's not. There's a lot of people talking about where is the KFC flashlight. Now, yeah, Kissel, you know what? It's not happening. Okay. So let's just get over it. The dog's dead. Okay. The mom's not coming back. Speed, what am I going for? I knew what that am I this going was for? good. I can't believe, Sleazy Dad, what you've done. What am I going to for? this entire show? Speaker, Booker, fucking Jesus Christ. Yeah, get out of here, this bullshit. Uh, speaker fee range, please contact. It's fucking $100,000 <laughs> $100, is what it is. Get rid of it. You just price yourself out because no, a certain no, incredibly do brilliant I don't, I don't community. Please, no, please sign this up. Please no, sign him up. Do not sign me Can up. Someone, yes, send it. Can we put, put that the link range, in chat? Put the range is 500000 Can we put the link you in know chat? You know what? 10 fucking million. It's $10 million. I mean, I just... Also, I feel like we're not in the... I think we're not in the squares right No, I like it, though. I like that it's kind of... Too, this is a different kind of podcast. A different kind of fucking stream. Yeah, it's, right? it's, it doesn't have as much structure, and dear, is, it's probably not as good. No, it's... No, they are fine, because we're filling everyone's torment with words for a full hour. You, I think that you're, I, you priced yourself out. I'm no, saying you're going to make out. more money. You priced along yourself the way. out fifty thousand. You being the people that drives people to God. my show is no. going to pay you a lot more money in the end than any of your own precious, speaking, your own precious cavalcades of words. Speaking of shows, Marcus, he's only gotten two videos in so far. It's been traumatic and dramatic and. We've been sort of button heads here, but let's we really get a have video. Been. Maybe but Marcus can. A lot of people yeah. are saying you should do an OnlyFans. Next time you're feeling down, feeling that no one really I need this. gets you, Great. or Great. you're just wanting oh. to hear some encouraging words, yes. well, you. there's a solution. You can have what you want. You can do it. The finish line is closer than you think. But cheers to you, CDs. Good encouragement and cheers to you. It's even been featured on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Oh shit, it was on Ellen. We're on your side. We're here for you. Wow, he looks like Ace Ventura. 
guarantee Look at these losers. Oh, you fucking losers. Oh, we'll give you your money back. Call 1-877-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5
big oh, the audition. The worst thing that anyone could ever ask for. It was the worst thing because you have to be clean. If you don't know, if you're you have to be before, clean, but your version of clean can't even like you can't talk about anything. Yes, I did a joke. I think when I first one of my first jokes was like, "Here's my impression of Michael Jackson." And then it fell over and died. Not funny, yeah. but you know that should get a chuckle. Yeah, they say they're, they're homeless. The they say they're homeless, but actually they're home more. Actually, my stand-up, it's very interesting. A lot of people are biting because I had a lot of jokes about Jeffrey Dahmer and I had a lot of great jokes, and then people are attempting to. I was actually no, ahead of my time, and I was derailed by certain people that thought they were gatekeepers. And, of course, nowadays the only gates that they keep are the ones outside of their house because the comedians want to go do open mics in their basement. He is free to speak at your funeral. He's free to speak at your at a church group that you don't like. Uh, Send this, him. How about this? Yeah. Send Kissel. Hey, I understand Send. why it's an open casket. Look at cans on. Look at the cans on Grandma. See? Send That's him funny. to your enemy. Send him to your enemy. Book him to go to the worst place you can think of. Hey, why don't we just take a little peep here at his penis? Uh, what is this guy? There we go. 5,000 to 10. Yes, that's even Wait, more that's insulting. Wait, speaker. Yes, that's then even why worse. why the fuck wasn't that I is listed? even worse. Comedian. Politician, you loser. Yeah, that's why you get less money, because they know you mostly get paid in child pornography. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. Well, first of all, why didn't I show up in the search? That's number one. Also, please can we change? Can you please request. change? Can you please change it to to at least five million dollars to the speaking fee? Please change it. Oh, K Kelly, are you doing this? Did you do this? You game in the system, Kelly. She's doing. Calls coming from out of house. Thank you, thank you, Kelly. <laughs> no, you don't. Finally, one G eight <laughs> person has respect for what I do, which is keep this entire goddamn network afloat with my simple <laughs> generosity <laughs> and creativity. Honestly, give them, get them, get them work. Wow. Thank you. Let's fill, let's fill out this next video. Wow, Kelly, that was very fast. That was amazing, and thank you. It wow, also proves my point. You did that. No, no, no. I'm too lazy. I would never do that. That's One of my many legions of fans did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see another Marcus video. <laughs> Look at the riverside. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's... No, it's Bucky the Watchdog. Bucky the Watchdog! <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> And here comes Bucky. He's coming in for a land again. He's caught by the watch girl. And here's Bucky the watchdog, the watch girl, and even Oh, the watch Elvis girl's about to get a little yeah, wash out. Yeah, I don't, yeah, get away from him. And then little Elvis. The largest watch store, the watch man at the Riverside <laughs> Resort. Over 20,000 watches, all under $20. Folks, this is an it's experience trash. you can't miss. The watch man at the Riverside Resort. Open daily at 10 a.m. I just a lot of people thing is, died outside that store. Oh, so many, and they knew exactly what time they died. Um, the problem is, I if you're an impersonator, one of the things you have to do is be within five inches of the person you're well, impersonating. Unless you're that guy was four eight. Unless you're specifically a mini Frankenstein. No, but he did not say I'm mini Elvis. Like you have to be then you're well, mini Elvis. He was just an employee at the watch store. Oh, I think that guy was a pro Elvis. No, guy. no, no, no. That was a man that was an, as an employee at the watch store. He was just like, yeah, you could be, yeah. You could be Elvis, is, right? Remember that movie? I think it's called like Superheroes, and it's all about the Batman and the Superman that would go down to the Hollywood Square and Boulevard. Yes, yes. And they are yes. never speak with them. They're very, <laughs> very scary. I, I brought this up when we were talking about the uh, anti-Zionist Elmo. Because it was <laughs> yeah. anti-Zionist Elmo. And there is still nothing quite like when you are in Times Square and you see a, like best. a door of the Explorer or a Cookie Monster and you think, oh, I'll take a fun, like, ironic picture with this with this this person and then your hand touches their back and you feel like the rippled old man muscle just well, underneath of the, the velvet suit you know it's very interesting you have reminded me of something that i would say during my speaking fees obviously politician i was moved politician po Shh. yeah just because 98.7 percent of people don't vote for you doesn't mean you didn't fucking lose or win or do something all i know is 98.7 percent of the time didn't have me on you happy with eric adams Tell the jury they were wrong. Anyway, I was at Battery Park, and there was a, you know, they have the Statue of Liberty, so the people dressed as Statue of Liberty, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. And the woman, the person removed the Statue of Liberty hat, and it was a Hispanic woman. And I thought, isn't that true? Isn't America, isn't it the back of Hispanic women oh, and working class people all across this country this. You can't trust that this allow man. us to live our life? So you thank you. And I thought it was powerful. You better And be I did careful. jot it down in my comedy notebook. If you pay this man and that was even close to the Thank top range of ten thousand dollars, he's going to destabilize wherever you're at. Wherever you're at, he is going to come in. He's going to drink because you know how much college kids love Michelob Ultra. 
You really got to be careful <laughs> just because oh, he will soak up remember, all that up. We had to go do one show. I think it was in Michigan or something. Remember we went to that fucking college bar and all the drinks were blue and red. Oh, yeah. We everything was like UV Red Bull. And I was like, it was in Grand Rapids. Oh, it was Grand God. Rapids because we went there because Grand Rapids was like, you know, they do. They're Ooh. very proud of their beer and the beer is very good. But sure. then you go straight into like a because remember it was like a. It was some place called like O'Shaughnessy's where we had to wait. We waited outside. And we were such losers. And it was like, I already graduated, you fucking turds. And everything. I don't know how these kids are doing it. Their hearts are all going to explode. Back in my day, we just took Adderall. But now it's all rock, Red Bull and Rockstar. Oh, Red Bull now. Someone asked me if this is a real Smash Mouth shirt. No, it's not. It's it's a funny version of From Met Syndicate. You guys know. You guys yeah. know what I do. It's, a, it's from Pan, it's Pantera's album. <clears throat> yes. Uh, Vulgar Display of Power. Yes. Um, man, I try to listen to Pantera again. I love it, but no, it's bad now. Fucking Phil. All right, All right let's, let's do this. move on. Yeah, let's see. Let's see another one of these videos. Oh, honey. Okay. So oh, honey okay. Is. Okay. So All right. Now this is the thing. As a this honey is fountain. why. Okay. The title sequences are supposed to come up on top. Right? Well, but I also kind of like that as a surprise because we're like, is it? Is it oil? Is it? You know. People are already telling me sap? that if I was covered in honey, that's fifty thousand dollars right there. No, it's a speaking fee. It's not you rolling yeah. around in honey, uh, squealing like a pig. Yeah, the speaking is gonna be like, I'm a biggie, piggy, piggy, piggy boy, piggy, mm -hmm. piggy, piggy, piggy Let's boy. Let's do an update, shall we? Can someone raise my speaking fee? No, we already they already went and then and, and out of sheer pity. No, not out of pity. Went and out of fucking necessity. Your like added this. This is just out of sheer pity. All right. Oh wait, wait. Let me say. Oh wait. Look at this biography. Ben Kissel is an eleven-year resident up. of Brooklyn. Shut up. He was born the youngest of three sons. All to an right. Let's father move on. We're not. No, no. You're not getting this opportunity, Eric. I'm just as much your boss as Since he is. Since moving to Brooklyn in 2006, Ben has become one of the nation's drunkest political oh commentators. Oh, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> God, I hate my friends. Why? Why do we do this? Oh, God. Yes. Yes. I've seen this one. Yes. You gotta get it. Oh, I see. He's going to... I get it. What's your dad doing this weekend, do you think? I don't know if my, um... You know, my father has such hand control. No, if your dad could do this, it's actually kind of fun, though. You're like, Dad, come and do that thing. I you wish know, he would. I wish my father had a cool hop. Yeah. Uh, How does see. he do you think you have to get your hand? <laughs> and then, 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 on the great big hill and him. Ah, this is good. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to do. Yeah. Wow, he's a step pat. I hear that I'm taking a deep breath. And I'm getting See, this is a song about nothing. She's just in a coffee shop. Cool, yeah. And then a person walks in. And that's all this song is. Slice of life. It's a great song. It's a slice of life. saying you can do anything to be inspirational. That couch has seen some real horrible things. A couch like that has a, that's a, a, hear, a series of memories that desperately wants to scream out in pain. What is the fabric on there? Like dead elephant? That what is, is that? that is a special type of nana asbestos based fabric <laughs> that is built for blood and shit you and vomit. Yeah, and what I is that really over there? There is that's a DNA. This is a blood. Fabric. It's what it's we a call. Crime scene. It's what we call in um, the fabric world uh, a suicide splotch, <laughs> which is normally what you're trying to do. It's the artistic representation of blowing your brains out, laying down in the couch. Right, I love that. Man, he's still going. You know, Robin eats. Williams shares my birthday, July twenty-first. Yeah, lighters in the sky, man. Dude, I want to bring lighters back, but if you try to do it, they take them away from me now. What? Yeah, I tried to do it at the Barclays Center watching, um, was it SmackDown or Raw? Yeah. What do you mean? A man came. No, they took it away. They literally were like, sir, you can't have any open fire. It wasn't because you didn't have your pants on, you were yelling and stuff like that. I it was yelling. Like but it was like Bray Wyatt was coming out and I did the lighter thing, but no, it's your phone. But what if your phone's running out of batteries? Wow, wow this guy. Wow, he's still going. I, I honestly, I would be really... Video? 
I don't know, but I will say, with that kind of hand strength and duration, I wouldn't put my boobies anywhere near him. He'd rip your boobies right off. No, but he obviously has, uh, he's not 100%. You know, he, he can go soft, firm. He's hitting every note. Honestly, yeah, he might fucking create crazy vibrations on the bottom. Look at this guy. It's like harmonica players, so you know they're yeah. good at eating pussy. Yeah, but then you got John Popper down there, and then, you know... John Popper! Yeah. He can eat pussy with his neck! <laughs> Judging by that last <laughs> name. Okay, all well, right. Well, I guess we're just gonna... I guess we've that. had enough. I think the, uh, yeah, I, Eric has had enough. <laughs> I can't handle it anymore, <laughs> and that's fine. Okay, except, no, no, we can be done. We, we only I have, have, we only have 20 more minutes, we have a bunch of videos, so... Oh, yeah, well, thankfully we ate a lot of time talking about how great a speaker I am. Yeah. <laughs> For a measly fifty thousand dollars. Oh yeah, now it's over. Thank you, Eric. I am done. Now um, I'm done. Okay. Thank you. Let's go. Well, speaking of boobies, let's check out this video. Yeah, sure. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Let's blow some. Why videos. not? Let's just burn through some. Yeah. He always gets hiccups. He had them in the womb. Don't. You can feel them all the time in my pelvis. That's cute. Oh god, on your pelvis. And what? What have you got on there? You got a hat that says, "Mmm, boobies." <laughs> I don't like so the this, reason Marcus. Your mama made like you put that this. on is because oh God, don't. we're celebrating that. Mm, it's celebrating been boobies. over 24 hours he can since suckle on all you've you. had was mommy's boobies. Oh my God, why are you doing Good this? job. Stop talking like this, lady. Okay. Why are you doing this to your yeah. child? Go oh, now. Let's have some food. Also, is it done? Don't you want to put that thing back in? Is it done? I no, I need to cook you. more. Bye. Yeah. You got to put that baby in the oven. What are you doing, ma'am? What are you doing? That's not boobs. Why? Exactly, guys. Ever immediately, I was because that was what I thought. I saw mm, mm, boobies, boobies, and I thought we might. That was a baby. Yeah, it was, it was the opposite of boobies, and it was like the mom mm, boobie. I don't. Obviously, I respect women, and I breastfed for a long time. Yeah, 15, but 16 years. The idea of like I don't know. I feel no. I mean, have fun with it. But well, it's also, like, like don't make it your identity. It is weird to like you know, just be like, look at these, you know, welcome well, to the ice cream chef. I, I do find like, I think that it's, oh, wow. I'm so glad it's just me and you, Kissel. I think that it's like, okay, I know that it's a beautiful, wonderful thing to breastfeed, right? I think you it's don't beautiful. Know. No, I, <laughs> I don't. I fucking don't. But I, I understand. The, I can suck the ink out of this pen. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars. He will literally. He'll go to a fucking country fair. He'll go to. He'll go to. A, I'll go to a county fair. He'll go to your vasectomy. <laughs> Honestly, Kissel would be great at a vasectomy. Oh yeah, isn't that when you you break it in half and if whoever um, gets the larger end but wins the thing a is, wish is that, or something? And I think it's good. I think it's nice that a woman can't. Obviously, you're just feeding the baby. You're just feeding the yeah, baby. It's a wonderful thing. But, yeah. but if we're like. We just out, right? We're just like out hanging out. Dude. And then it's like, I do know if you flop it out, like you flop it out the titty, right? Mm -hmm. And then you feed the baby. And I know I'm not, not everybody's thinking the same, like, what's, uh, I'll have what he's having, right? No, that's we not don't true. say it. No one says it. That's not true. We're that's not allowed not to say it. And I never even think of it anymore. No, it right? sounds like you do. But I'm not, I don't think that. But you also wonder, you're like, you know I'm not looking at the titty, you but then I, I have to go like. I always say they, they should. And uh, act like I'm not there. They should paint the little fake nipple on the back of the baby's head and make the chick look like she has one big dead. <laughs> um, I did see I did see a person um, that was breastfeeding because I I would live by a school, by a middle school in uh, when I was in Brooklyn. Trevor, I'm, I'm asked how much for you to come for Trevor for you to go to his prostate exam. Oh, dude, again. It, it, five to ten thousand dollars. No, it's not five to ten thousand. It's fifty thousand to a hundred thousand dollars for something like that. I'd go though. Again, for fifty grand, I'd go to your prostate exam. I'd I'd let the doctor uh, tell me all the results, and I'd share the results with you in a more comedy way. Because doctors, the one thing they're not is very nice. No, they yeah. My doctor just yelled at me, but whatever. And I'm just like, ah, oh, you don't, you don't. Why doesn't that exist? The middleman. I'm just like everyone a, is bring saying. Bring a comedian in. The, the doctor leaves. I just love it. Yeah. They've well, got terminal cancer, but you go in, lay it on them nice. Yeah, but the best part is you won't have to go to Christmas with your dumb mother. Boom. Hey, I know you don't like your mother. I hate, I know you hate going to Christmas. Yeah, I do. Good news. You're going to be dead in September. <laughs> Good news. Well, I actually made that joke the last time because they bring in a spotter, right? So I had to get my balls checked and they bring in someone. They to did not bring like, a spotter in. Yeah, well, it's not like you need someone to help it. 
help the woman, but uh, my doctor's a woman and they bring somebody in for, I guess it's either for my protection or for her protection. And so that you don't right? sue the uh, hospital. Yeah, she, yeah. But then that dude, I was like, I literally, I was just like, he came in and I did the thing. I was like, you're not going to say anything? Because I was like, this is when you do your tight five, bro. All right, because we're in here, woman's checking me because the worst thing in the world. Not only are you watching another man's dick and balls, but the doctor's they don't see dealing like with that. my fucking dick and balls. And what if in that moment of pure silence, she's like, oh my God, a lump. Like, I need you to cut the tension, bro. Yeah, but oh my God. Oh, wait, never mind. There's two of them. It's just his balls. <laughs> Let's watch this next video. God, Marcus. Oh, God. Well, this is kind of People cute. will keep with it. Also, everyone's saying it's because I couldn't suckle them, and that's why I'm obsessed with the suckling. Yes, but I, it's just everyone, like, yes, that is like, for well, sure, brilliant. yeah. It's probably the reason why I am who I am. Oh, that guy's outfit. That's what I need. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to it's Epcot been a Gassens day. Today. It's been a day. <laughs> this is nice. People are just relaxing. What's the cameraman look like? You know? This is where Kissel's up next. Kissel's gonna close after this band for Yeah. I can't wait. They deserve at least five grand. I mean they didn't get it. They, probably, they did not. Leo already did created Kisselboycott.info. Good, yeah. Congratulations, because you get more money when you're boycotted. Yes. Yeah. Look Thank at you. Chick-fil-A. You're doing more chicken than ever. <laughs> okay, this guy. Oh, wow. Oh, she's pretty. She's... Yeah, she's cute. She's yeah. cute. Where is this? I'm trying to. This is Anytown, USA. Uh, Look at the moves. Yeah, I just. I think this cameraman is being a little bit of a pretentious. No, no, no. We are. This is Marcus's choice to laugh at the people. No, but that. The, oh, the, you the man the is just covering. Oh, the man is just a research. no. He's just a part of. It. No, I think this guy is. He's like a little Marcus. No, no, no. Like, no I. No, no. It's just because unfortunately, wherever his camera goes, there is ironic humor. Uh, he is locked in this world. He is amongst them. That guy is. He is, he is not as, there. As, 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 he is not into it. No, he's not there. I think he got started drinking way too early. Also, I like that they have barricades just in case. You might get the Hell's Angels to control this crowd. I like the lady drummer. She's fun. She's I got the Kurt Cobain glasses on. Dude, they're having. Oh, this guy. Okay. Well, I don't know if you need any more. Sadie Russ immediately says this is Eugene, Oregon, which actually makes total fucking sense. If this, if I end up with a lady like this in my 60s, I would say, you know what? Fine. I love this life. This is where I want to be in life. Okay. It's fucking 65 year old in the cover place. This is where I want to be. Okay, well, you know, people, more people are See, he was him. trying to get into it, and they're not doing it. I mean, I do want to scream, Your Generation Lost at this guy. Oh, yes, yes, um, yes, yes. But I don't want to be like the big, big yeah. Lebowski. Several people are saying that this yeah. is a version of hell. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. definitely. But I, I like, well, ah, that's this just guy, a man. He's guy, bumming me out. Well, he the just, rest of them I like. I like the rest of them because... I know exactly what he's got to go in, slam a water, slam a tequila. He'll be back to good. Of course. Well, I went to do... I remember one time I was home for Christmas, and we went to go see a Steely Dan cover band called Raised by Wolves. R-A-Z-E-D by that's Wolves. That's funny. Uh, the, last, the last cover band I saw was a Fleetwood Mac cover band at Sam's Diner in the San Antonio. They were good. Oh, my... The Raised by Wolves are not. Oh, but what I will say is that you do get that sort of because there's something about I feel like you know in your 30s people settle down blah blah, blah in their 40s you know they, you know you kind of get stodgy but they then I think people get rehorny somewhere around 55 to 60. I agree because when you go in there that raised by I swear to God they needed a tarp. It Dude. was the sex mm -hmm. in that room between the people like it was yeah. just like it was people that looked like my mom and dad mm -hmm. just on the verge of. It's fucking mm -hmm. in public, on top of each other, yeah. sidling around. I was just like, this is freedom. This is the new freedom that comes again. We're just yeah. being like, why are you guys all, none of you should even be voting. I was like, yeah, like, don't yeah. vote anymore. Just you should be sex. fucking, you should be doing cocaine and, and they fucking. can't procreate. They're done with that. It's already done. That's the best part. That's great. That's why I think, fucking they, that's, I think fucking why they're doing it. Menopause actually kills the ultimate bummer, which is getting pregnant. Could be. Could be, could be. Um, maybe unless you have early menopause, a lot of people, uh, women you? Of specifically, course. Uh, do suffer from that. <laughs> and, and that is something you don't want to have. All right, well, let's move on. I mean, it's something you're going to get. It's not something you don't want to have. It's more like it's more like menopause, which is when you become conservative. I mean, I, if I was a woman, I'd be like, let's get on with this already. I'm going to get this menopause. Yeah, Visco Green, your parents are going to be fucking... 
Like, whoo! Like Machine Gun Kelly. Good reference, good reference. Up to date. <laughs> I need some, I'm just desperate to find one. You know, oh. it's just now. I almost feel like Marcus is. Well, oh, this is when he was this like, obviously. Joke. This is when this he is, was just what like, it, "I have a thing." Let's just go to the right. And the next yeah, one. I don't. Let's, let's see what also, Machine Gun Kelly and My, uh, Megan Fox uh, they broke up. No, they haven't yet broken up. That's yeah, they just did. Rumors. No, they did. She Not according did. to Dumois. I don't know who that is, but it's a gossip Megan account. Fox said that they, they did. They did. I think Megan Fox. You smell is, like you smell like weed. I am. Right. Weed. I am weed. Recording. This is gonna be puke. This is definitely gonna be a puke video. Okay, this is not sure. This is I'm Oh <laughs> I did man. It's bro's hanging out, dog. Oh no, he's got a line attached Brandon, to it. Wait, Brandon, what is can happening? You get closer to the or to the chair. Is he, the he's not teething, so <laughs> he's not really gonna jolt forward that far? <laughs> is he just gonna pull oh, his freaking tooth out like a Yeah, yeah, I'm like, I've done that before. I did that as a kid. <laughs> What are they doing? <laughs> Fuse Stamen Henry, uh, why is A to Z not available on DVD? Are you are you my so parents? Those, those are very expensive. Is that my mother in the chat? <laughs> jeez, jeez. Come on. It's expensive so, beef turkey, by the way. <laughs> so this is the thing. That are you... Why is it funny? Also, they might be playing our board game, so check that out. Did he just knee him in the butt? <laughs> but why was the string in his mouth? You know what, man? Honestly, I'm boys just glad they're boys. laughing. Boys being boys. I'm glad they're laughing. I'm glad that they're they're not there. They're not saying you know mean things on the internet. They're ribbing their boys with good old fashioned just just being fun. I, but something horrible, man. It's just got, yeah, exactly, Lauren Riley. That's just guys being dudes. Guys being dudes. It's fine. It's That's just, all it is, man. That's wholesome as hell. But what was the point? No, they're making a podcast. Oh that no! That was a goddamn. That was a. It was. Oh god, no! It's content. Dem demonic. What they oh, just. Oh god! Did. That was content. Oh god! It's that was content. them being like, "What's our niche?" Honestly, it's true though. I'm, but you know, we're all looking for it. I still am. No, I'm just going from. Yeah, sure. You're I'm. I'm Hollywood hotshot. Fifty grand a speech. Yeah, of course. But I'm trying to go acoustic. <laughs> My next thing is all gonna be like once I'm done with this tour, once I'm done with the we cancel me tour, the next one's all gonna be about like we need to go electric. We're this not song is about how they're putting pavements over all the forests. Well, yeah, like that's all I'm going to talk about. No, I know, but I'm be we're like already acoustic. Lightning bug, God damn, I wish I had that much light inside of me. Your ass, you know. Yeah, uh, cock. I'd suck cock. I'd suck a lot of cock. Wow, he's, he's gone acoustic. <laughs> wow, I I didn't think he'd gone acoustic until he proclaimed how much he wants to suck cock. Uh, he's gone acoustic, much like Bob Dylan. Uh, who I'm going to say, maybe this will get the chat on fire. I think he's a little overrated. Oh, my God. That's going to get the chat on fire. Can we it? take his speech fucking oh, wow. fee down? No, you no not. That's, that's, that's a $100,000 that, hot take. Bob Dylan. Oh, God. Bob Dylan. No, it's still nothing. <laughs> that has become one of the nation's rising Have you checked your phone? Is what? it blowing up? Have you gotten any messages? No, I haven't received any at this point. Not yet. I, I'm assuming that it'll come with that cheap fee. And then I'm going to What's their podcast? Them. Yeah, go on kisselboycott.info. I think it was called Three Boys Palling Around. <laughs> you know, Three Boys Just Palling Around because that's all you got to do. It's a, all podcasts are. It's a couple of microphones and two guys just yeah, getting it up. There's no art to it. There's no... Uh, you just got to pal around. Whatever, man. Yeah. $50,000. I'll tell pal you all around. about it, man. Yeah, well, for ten grand, you can save yourself forty grand and get a speaker that's a heck people of a are lot freaking out. Everyone's Henry saying, "Yeah, Thomas you immediately Dabrowski. said that in the chat." The entire Bob Dylan, you got the Bob Dylan stands out there, and then you got the Bob Dylan truthers. Yeah, Bob Dylan truthers are the worst because they're the <laughs> ones that told it. Because again, remember he put out the eighteen minute JFK oh slow God. rap right the same we moment. And we know it was right. yeah. First of all, talk about uh. dick riding. But second of all, because that took him five God, years to write. that song was horrible. God, it was long and stupid. It won the fucking like Nobel Prize or something. Oh, which geez, is, to me, just done. They're, can I just say matter. straight up, is that how you? That's how you know art is bad. Yeah. If it's winning, like if a it super wins the important. Nobel Prize, yeah. That's the how Nobel you know it's Prize bad. also has gone. That's how you know it's fucking dumb and boring. We all hate it, right? Every one of these prizes has gone downhill. Like, who cares? Whatever, you dog. just buy them. You know who didn't? That we talked about for a full ten minutes before the show. Bob fucking Seeger. All right, he didn't win a Nobel Prize. Fire he's leg, the best baby. denim. Bound, I love Bob man. Mm -hmm. Against yeah. the wind, man. Against the wind. Now, if you are going against the wind, it's going to hurt your gas mileage a little bit. But you know what? The wind will change. And then I'm a hundred and... Wait, I'm two... Wait, I'm 190 calories deep. I feel you growing. Let's fire one down the pipe. I had to do 95 plus 95. Right? <laughs> oh, yes. 
fellas, don't drink that coffee. <laughs> Seinfeld I never guess. Love it. There was a fish in the percolator. I just want to watch Twin Peaks. You've seen the whole thing, right? Oh, yeah. I love this. <laughs> Season two, I was utterly confused. Yes. <clears throat> Season two is weird. Of the but then I actually like the, the, the new one. It's very good. I guess new by 10 years standards. 2017. It's 20, six years. Yeah, six years. Oh, my God. You didn't love her anyway. <laughs> oh. See, that's you, Henry. That's the job. That's your role. I just want to be. I that's fifty thousand dollars right there. Laurel. No, that wasn't fifty thousand dollars. It was like oh, five hundred. So you know what? You could own a lodge. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That's in my future. That was a good bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. Guy. Scary. Watch that. <laughs> Is he really there? <laughs> Ma'am, 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 there's a mushroom on your head. That was the hairstyle back then. Long COVID did this, Mike TV, you're correct. Oh, yeah, this is best. The only role tall actors ever get. Yeah, you get the spindly, oh, weird. Oh, they also have lurches in this. Yeah, I know. This is a spoiler. <laughs> this is a huge spoiler. Technically, this is funny. It's in the, it that, is that technically, funny. yeah. No, you can't spoil it anymore. If you haven't seen it, you gotta check it out. Corey T, he didn't really spoil it necessarily. It didn't really spoil it. No, it's just it was a big reveal, and then but who cares? I mean, it's so old now by this point. I mean, if you um, haven't seen Dallas it, Dallas took place in a snow globe. Uh, the end of Lost was they're all dead. Um, Is that true? I think that was the point. They're in purgatory or some stupid shit like it's that. A stupid show. I don't remember. People like that show, but you know I'm what? happy that they liked it. I know, I, sure, it was fine. I didn't mind. I didn't. Marcus is a huge fan of it. That I know. So we're not allowed to slag it. No, I don't. I as far as like shows that go viral, Lost was fine. The other ones, I don't know. Oh, actually, and Fairly Chungus has a really interesting question. She says, "What country looks like a boot?" Italy. Yeah, you didn't fucking know that. Now this next video is a. This is why I get my speaker fee. You see this? See, speaker you fee. think that you you don't, you don't understand? See, you don't think that I'm smart, but you don't understand how dumb people are. Well, of course. Oh no, I understand. It's it. Italy. It's shaped like a boot. Yeah, yeah because that helps. And you then what? It. What countries would say a boot? Canada. Canada. Yeah, that's that explains our audience. That's also you. all you need to know. No, oh. few statement. It's right. It wasn't Dallas. It's not Dallas that sends the, the snow globe. It's Saint Elmo's fire. Dallas. Dallas was all in in the asshole of a patient. I what how, how did Dallas end at the uh, books book suppository? It ended back to the book depository. The not book suppository. No, it was at the book suppository. Yeah, mm. it was definitely the place where people shove books up their fucking ass <laughs> medically, <laughs> and that's what you get if you hire him. But guess yeah, what? Yeah, buddy. You, but you don't understand. This is the fucking long all have, day. You know what all all right? I have to say is watch it. Look at it again. You have the opportunity to book this. Can we please Claude get my fee off? on your court? Being the youngest of three sons of the Midwest, Shut made up. Ben a fighter. Working as class mom. Ben's brothers eventually it's, came out as gay. All right, let's move ben on. Ben learned this to is fight for the little guy I'm and take kill care you. of the down Yeah, I fight for you every fucking day for your right to speak. You have any... I get... My, the flack that I... Yeah, okay, you guys get some flack over certain ideas that I have. But the, the flack that I get because of you... He's interpolated. I am interpolated. That's ben is an 11 year old. Blurred out like it's a titty. Thank you. Yeah, they but don't even want you to know how... Well, you see, there's five. There's five numbers in there. Yeah, that's great. Uh, me and Marcus will go. You guys out get the Georgia. exactly, Lauren Riley. You get all of this for free. Let's show the last video, please. Well, you paid money for that. The Marcus Georgia Hardstock. How much are there? Wow, I'm up there with them. Oh god. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, that's great. Just call them. Okay. The. What is this? Oh yes. Oh, they, so now this is okay. Marcus this is included AI. this. This is an AI generated moment from last podcast yeah. on the left now this is scary i believe that we need to beat the ai we just got to be better than the ai right? I, I agree but funnier I, than I mean, the ai and we, we just got to be faster than if the they AI. downloaded every piece of content we've ever had they know us better than we know us i don't remember anything past two weeks ago i know let's push play i'm actually interested i was There's too scared no to click to yes. this is the last ai generated podcast on the left <laughs> okay there's no place like home. 
Unless your home is in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, My voice is better. where a giant winged creature with glowing red eyes has been terrorizing the locals for decades. That's Marcus's role. Is it a harbinger of doom, a misunderstood cryptid, or a government experiment gone wrong? Find out on this episode of The Last Podcast Where's on the, the fun? Left. Where's I'm the fun? I'm Ben Kissel. With me, as always, I'm are ben Marcus Kissel. Parks and Henry Zabrowski. Hail Satan. Hail Gein. Hail <laughs> yourselves. Hail Mothman. That's the end Hail of the Mothman. show already. Yeah, why not? He's cool. He's like Batman, but with wings and no money. Well, he's not exactly right. cool. He's more like creepy and mysterious, and he doesn't fight crime. He just shows up before bad things happen. Like God, what? This, like, like the collapse what? of the Silver Bridge in 1967, How are which killed 46 people and was one of the worst disasters in American history. Oh, my God. Yeah, but maybe he was trying to warn them. Maybe he was like... Hey guys, don't cross that it bridge. Like it's gonna fall book. down. Trust me, I'm a moth. <laughs> it does. Or maybe it does he sounds like it. a maybe he was book. Like, Hey guys, watch this. I'm gonna make that bridge fall down. Trust me, I'm a moth. Or maybe he had nothing to do with it. Maybe he was just a coincidence. Well, a freak maybe of he nature, was just a, a coincidence. It's AI. Or maybe it's he was wrong. something else. Something more sinister. Also, that should be rock star, not liquid Paranormal. Death. What do you mean? Well, that's what we're what gonna find mean? out today because Mothman is not just a monster. I love they have. I've already fucking broken this down, which was not my role anyway. UFOs, men in black, psychic phenomena. But Marcus is now. Now I'm listening to Marcus, and I'm like, wow. oh yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, wow, indeed. So buckle up, Buttercups, because we're about to take a trip Buckle. to the land of the oh. Mothman. Ugh. Wait, what the fuck is that? Uh, you know, that was horrible. I will. I'm say, actually happy how horrible that was. So who to the right? The voice cloning was Eleven Labs. That's very. The voice cloning's weird. It wasn't good enough. Yeah, but no, no, it's not quite no, there. Uh, 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 well, no, yeah, of course, because they're lacking what Nick Cave said about art, which is what he said is that yes, AI may sound like us. It may look like us, but it will never transcend the human spirit because you know why? Yay! You got it! You got it. Because All right, there's everyone. nothing that the human spirit, because Hooray the robot. Yay for you! Yay for Yay you! Yay for you, everybody! Because you, that you transcend where the AI can never transcend. It has nothing to transcend. Can Look at the that? man who did the fart hands. Can AI fucking make that sound? Sure, it can. But it can it actually More like artificial neg- idiot? Yeah, can it neglect a family for all the years it took to make those sounds correctly? No, no. It cannot. Hail yourselves, everyone. We'll be back next week. Bye. We'll see you next week. Another perfect stream. <laughs>